It's a Firelands or Bus live stream, everybody. For your October 14th, 2022. It's been a bit. Been a little bit since we've done a Firelands stream. Did we do an episode last? I don't remember what the uh, the order of things are. It's, time is a flat circle. Yeah, I guess I guess just a week ago we did an episode. But then we've been trapped in a a Nomansky universe <laughs> since then. And and the trombone universe as well. But here we are back in the Far Lands or Bust universe. 44,230 megabytes. Get your wolf's ready. Woof, Wolfie's ready. Alright. No No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Wants to get down to it. That is not the way to do that. But let's uh Oh, that's 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 not even the right way. Did I get Wolfie? I did. This this is the right way. This is west here in Minecraft Beta one seven three. Woof woof. How's everybody doing? Anything new? Or interesting or exciting for anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> Not yet. What are you anticipating something? Um The uh the magic spoon thing is over. Well, thank you everybody who signed up for that. I think we might have had the most people sign up or purchase that versus any of the others. I don't remember how many Hello Freshes we had. Perhaps it's because it was available in Canada and the UK as well. I don't know. Everybody's got their cereal. <laughs> Cereals. You're waiting on a f fancy smartwatch. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. Day 10 of three-day shipping. <laughs> yeah. Is it via DHL or on track? Probably on track, right? Um, I used to wear watches, like Timex watches, nothing fancy. I don't remember what prompted me to just suddenly stop. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I will, like even starting more less than 11 years ago it was. Was there an episode about this? Have I already discussed? Go, going from a watched to unwatched. I don't remember. Uh, Armin says, ironically, a week after my HelloFresh stops, it became available in France. Right, it was always available in other countries. It's just that the, a lot of the times these promotions only are, are only count to US customers oh. only for marketing reasons or, you know, like, because probably HelloFresh USA is probably a completely different company for the most part subsidy than HelloFresh France or whatever. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember why I stopped wearing watches. It's it simplified. I lost so many watches throughout like high school and college, <laughs> just like leaving them in like the gym lockers or something like that, or broken and stuff like that. Again, they were like Timex watches, so it wasn't a great loss or despair. Yeah, I don't know about, I mean, I was, I'm already like, I don't use a cell phone like many people use their cell phones. So I don't personally have any interest in smartwatches. Because I'm not like, I don't need access to my phone when it's already in my pocket. <laughs> that I, That's just my... I mean, I suppose if you're constantly having to watch something or watch something, text messages, I like it as a health tracker. I guess, I guess, isn't a standalone health tracker cheaper and still a watch, like still tells time? And also, yeah, I don't, I, I would not be able to sleep with a thing on my wrist. The Apple Watch is way more durable than a Fitbit. I, yeah, I don't... Not being in the market for either, I don't know the form factors or anything. I would have thought that a smartwatch would be because it's it's got a touch screen and a color screen and everything. The health features, hoping it motivates me into working out a bit. I mean, the motivation will be I spent this money on this heart this heart monitor <laughs> and smartwatch. Much like, is the fog too close? No, I guess that's just how we had it. Um, I guess that's also like people who sign up for gyms. I'm paying for the gym. That's going to be my motivation. That never works. <laughs> that's That's a poor motivation. Ah, the old half-off routine. Nebless, eat your food. That'll do it. I'm trying to decide if I even want to bother upgrading my phone. Because I have, through Google, like, I'm on, like, the subscription plan. So, like, after two years, which I think is, like, at the end of this year, I can upgrade and, like, my price doesn't change. But I'm also like, but my phone works. <laughs> like, it still works. I don't think it's been slowing down at all. Yeah, maybe some fancier cameras would be interesting. I wish I knew what happened to my old phone if I were to upgrade. <sighs> I got to an answer to Captain Planet and he's ruthless. Woof. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I would, I have, I think I have the, uh, 
Pixel 4a, which is like the Pixel 4 Jr. I would only upgrade to like the Pixel 6a, which is like the Pixel 6 Jr. <laughs> um, right, I mean that's the other thing. I, it, it's it it was it was cheaper over the course of two years to sign up for this subscription than it is to buy the phone outright. It, 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 it's like a discount on the phone. So yeah, if I just choose to keep my phone, I'm assuming then I just knock off the subscription price every month, which is like seven bucks, I think, for mine. Because they also include like another seven bucks for device protection or whatever. I don't know. Well, you can only sleep at night. That's true. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not anything that's honestly super pressing. I mean, they did. I, I, they did just once again change the timer. I use the timer on my phone. Like that's the main app I use. Like I guess I use Instagram and Twitter, but like the main function of my cell phone that I use is the timer. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take a picture. Um, like time. My oatmeal in the morning and time my brewing iced tea and time my bread rising and baking. And this is like, I swear, the third time they've changed the design and interface in about six months. And I just want to know whose job, like their sole job is Android timer UI design and how do they know exactly when I start to get used to the previous design to then push out a completely new separate design that changes everything <laughs> old man shakes fist at timer kitchen timer We need torches, do we though? Do we? Ooh. Torches, torches, torches! I got 40 torches! <laughs> Ooh, this would have been a good place for a sphinx head. Oh man, it's even got the arm already. <laughs> That's a shame. Well, now I gotta take a picture of this really quick. <laughs> Old man yells at Google Cloud. Thank you. Thank you, Weatherman. For once again coming up with the joke that I failed to craft in that moment. <laughs> I still can't set multiple timers on an iPhone. This is a neat place. This is a very neat place. Look at that bridge. Look at all these waterfalls. Look at all these death pits of death and demise. Demise, though. <laughs> no. 
My still, which I assume is still a problem that they haven't fixed with the new timers, is every time you use the voice command on Google to say set a 10 minute timer, it adds a new timer to your already list of timers that you've used. Even if you already have an unused 10 minute timer sitting in your list, it'll create a new timer. And if you're not actually watching them, you'll have a list of like 48 different timers that you've asked that are all the same. I d that's another thing. I don't install apps. I'm saying I could use a third-party timer app. I could, but then it's probably like got a bunch of ads. Or like you have to do the pay version to have more than three timers. Like, I, 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 when the girlfriend was trying to figure out how to read the speedometer in, in the, the hearse from kilometers to miles per hour, I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of apps that'll do that, I think. And I looked them up and it's all like, <laughs> it serves you an ad every like 15 minutes while you're trying to read your speedometer. <laughs> Like, there was, I did, I can't remember where I found it, but there was an app called Fig where, like, you could scan items at the grocery store and it'll tell you if it has your allergies or if it's safe. And, like, you could say, I'm gluten and wheat allergy. And, like, it, it was working fine. But recently now on the free version, they're like, oh, you can only have two free scans per month. Or week, maybe it is. But I'm like, okay, uninstall. I mean, everybody's got to get paid and, like, whatever, but... <laughs> At the same time... The limitations are not endless. The limitations are very limiting. Yeah, I mean, I'm I've, I'm fine with the, the default timer. It's just like offsetting, offsetting, off-putting when like I open it up and it looks completely different, and I'm like, uh, how do I start? it every day. Good times. Good times. All right. I see everybody's feeling very punny today. Isn't that every day? What else, my friends? Did you see Space Boop was a success? Yes. Uh, the Dart mission. Oh, which we watched live, didn't we? Um, it changed the orbit of the asteroid by like half an hour. I guess I, yeah, I guess I'm, conf I, I didn't realize, I mean, I think most of them are, most of the asteroids are. 
but it was like a a two body system. There was like a main asteroid and then like an orbiting asteroid. And we hit the orbiting, the smaller orbiting asteroid. I guess what I didn't delve into was like how much did that change its trajectory around the solar system. Which is the important thing if, say, its trajectory included Earth. <laughs> The main asteroid's orbit was not impacted. Ah. So this this could work. Only on a threat of a certain mass, probably. True, I guess that's also true. If it is a bigger asteroid, then hopefully we will have noticed it sooner and therefore have more time and need less of an impact to divert it. Always thinking with science. Ooh, excuse me. So when are we going to send up the nukes and test that? A lot of, good, uh, a lot of good landscapes here today, Minecraft. Well done. This way or this way? Ooh. We're going this way. The decision has been made. scared me. Zomble. I'm looking forward to the next movie villain trend of hitting an asteroid toward Earth. Wasn't that literally the plot? The Expanse, or at least the last season of it. Devil Wolf! Options for thumbnails here. Wolfie. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> uh, let me. Oop. Oh. 
A castle. Well, you certainly chose a moment to do that. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I think I have a Windows. Yeah, I do. I have my alert page still open. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. Oxygen O2. You got two alerts there. Simultaneous. Thank you for eight months in the sub sub. Sub tub sub tub. Blah, blah, blah. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. It's been getting it's been getting cold at night. I had to put on the the full on comforter. We've we've deployed the duvet. Although this weekend it's supposed to get like eighty during the day, Fahrenheit. So it make it a sense. It, it does. It makes none of the sense. I too enjoy warm blankets. This appears to be some commonality among us. Water is very quiet. The seas are smooth and calm. Like an old man enjoying his soup at a deli. Reference. <laughs> Well, here's a question for you that I should have asked when I was talking about the YouTube streaming is how many of you's lots 
watch the YouTube streams. And how, for you, do they compare? Like, I'm not saying, like, I, I don't think anybody wants me to just stream solely to YouTube. I'm just trying to, like, I know what it feels like for me. Whoa, Wolfie. Hell of Hands is a YouTube man. That's surprising since you've been here on Twitch for so long. I'm trying to find a way to get notified for YouTube streams. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think if you ring the bell on my channel, you'll get notified for all of my uploads, including. streams because the streams if i schedule them simply go into the feed as if it's a video but it's a scheduled stream welcome to farlander oh you can there's like customizable Notifications. So like you could ring the bell and say only notify me of scheduled streams or upcoming streams, live events, whatever they call them. So you'd have to click on every f f scheduled stream. Well, that's not ideal. What if they don't know that there's a scheduled stream? <laughs> yeah, I mean, in that case, I'd have to, like, schedule them a week out or something just to, like, give people time to, like know about them i mean i i did i know one of the things one of the many things that we talked about during this past year's flabathon none of which have yet come to fruition <laughs> uh on brand uh was a email list and i did i i do have and i set up a mailchimp account i used to use mailchimp back when i did web design but it has changed a lot, and it's a lot of work to just set up, like, an email list. And I was looking at it and going over it, and I became exasperated. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if the payoff for this is worth all of, like, having to set up categories keywords for people and databases you get notifications to channels I'm a member to oh well there you go you answered your own problem I mean it's not free but You just need to become a Welcome to Farlander. What's the other tier? I forgot what the other tier was. Wolfie Fan Club? Welcome to Wolfie Fan Club. Or is it Welcome to Discord Access? Is that what I called it? I don't remember. Uh...
There are tears. Well, yeah, that's the thing about YouTube is that as a streamer, I can set up different prices, almost like Patreon. Not, you know, on Twitch, it's what Twitch says is there's the tier one, tier two, tier three. But on YouTube, that's why there's the 199. Because I figured people want to do that. I don't want to, like, ask for 499 again like I am here on Twitch. So I just made a 199 one and, ooh, you get the emotes, okay? Then there's, like, there's recommended ones like, oh, you could do 499, you could do 999, you could do hundred dollars if you want but like for each tier you have to like give them something that the other tiers don't have but yeah that's up to the creator to set the prices for those the split is the same amongst all of them between youtube and the creator but Join the Minecraft server. <laughs> uh, right. The ability on the YouTube stream to scroll back as if you if you miss something which i'm i'm not surprised but i'm shocked <laughs> that twitch never has thought of it's probably something deeply ingrained in the code and the functionality of the website that they simply cannot change And or refuse to change. I mean, some people said that the quality is even better. There is a higher bit rate threshold over there on YouTube. No Mansky would be clear on YouTube. YouTube works on my Smarty Pants TV. Twitch doesn't. Well, yeah, that was the that was another thing before I moved in here. The girlfriend has an Apple, like an older Apple TV, and like she wanted to know if like she could watch Twitch on there, but there's no. Because it's an older Apple TV system. There's no Twitch. You can't, like, add an app. When I was at my mom's last month, I was looking for one because she has a smart TV. Or no, she has a Roku. And you can't get Twitch on a Roku. Because she was like, where can I watch when you're live? Or at least on the model of Roku that she has. What can you get Twitch on then? Amazon Fire. I don't even know. Is that true? I don't even know if that's possible. I would assume.
I would assume, but again, I would not be surprised. I have a very old Amazon Fire. Like, po possibly over 10 years, and it barely runs anymore. Minecraft, so relaxing. Back in my day, we had to crank the TV to make it work. Listen, I know you're making a joke, but that's actually true. Our TV that we played video games on was an old one with the crank dials. So to like play the video game, you had to turn it to channel 3 for the RF receiver thing. <laughs> you had to, uh, there was a crank. Back in my day. Frank's my favorite pastime. Back in my day, we didn't have ads on the internet. Back in my day, the ads on the internet took over your entire screen and held you your computer hostage. And no matter how many times you tried to close them, they'd open two more windows on top of them. It was really great. It was a really great time. <laughs> oh, that is not a bed. That was good times. And then there was that one year in like 2002 when everybody went back to college and plugged in their computers and didn't apply the patch. They all got infected <laughs> by that one worm or whatever it was just instantaneously for doing nothing. And I was the one with the little floppy disk to be like, all right, you should have done this before you plugged it into the internet. What was that called? There were like a couple of them, but the one in particular that like you just got for being on the internet. <laughs> Feel like that would have prepared us for the last few years. <laughs> you mean the save icon? Yes. A physical save icon. Blaster! I think Blaster was it.
Like, you didn't even have to, like, open anything. It just happened. <laughs> Or was that I love you? I don't know. I love you was an email room. Yeah, no, this I, I think Blaster was the one that just... Yeah, <laughs> it was instantaneous. Good times. I didn't like do anything other than like make your computer freeze. You know who I bet has the information? The internet. <laughs> We're all like, I think it was Blaster. No, that was the I love you. Maybe it was 2003. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Based on my school history and where I was in the dorms between 2003 and 2004. Because, yeah, everybody went home for, like, Christmas break or might have even been summer break. Blaster was a computer room that spread, running operating Windows XP and Windows 2000 during August 2003. Okay, yeah, everybody went home. Everybody took their computers home, but nobody used their computers at home, and or nobody else, nobody had internet at home. So then when they came back to school and plugged into the, the, the school's T1 internet in the dorms or whatever, they all got Blaster. <laughs> they got Blasted. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still love me if I was a computer worm? Uh And me being the nerd that I was already applied the patch to my computer prior to going back to school. But not so many other people. Oh, computers. Now we don't really have to worry about blasters or worms. We just have to worry about the complete collapse and downfall of democracy. <laughs> That's so much better. <laughs> A marked improvement. the reason XP 2nd Edition exists. I think one of my computers still has XP on it. Again, I've not booted either of them up in over five years, but... What did they gave you a virus for being online? I yeah, I don't know what Blaster did. It really wasn't anything. It might have been a keylogger, meaning it like tracked your keystrokes. 
But like, theoretically, you could be typing in a password. But it it was and it, it other than like completely messing up your computer. I don't know what it did. Oh yeah, it forced. The, that's right. It didn't freeze the computer. It forced it to reboot. That's right. Okay, I remember now. The memories have returned. <laughs> but why though? Why not? <laughs> I, I guess. If you had the power to force every computer in the world, almost every computer in the world, to freeze and restart every 10 minutes, I'm sure it might have been like, I don't know the full story. I don't know if anybody was ever caught about it. I'm sure they were trying to do something more, but that's maybe what it ended up doing, and they were like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure that Wikipedia article has the total global economic impact. An 18-year-old was sentenced to 18 months in prison. No one knows where it was started, so... Gotta pin the blame on somebody! Need wood. An educational Far Lands or Bust livestream here today. About computer history and internet. And internet! <laughs> Oops. Oh! I knew that was gonna be too many. I got greedy. My shovel. We'll have one internet, please. Indeed.
what else? <laughs> Anyone else remember looking up at the sky on 1-1-2000 and expecting satellites to fall? No. <laughs> you were in one of those doomsday cults, weren't you? I don't remember it being a big deal at all. Like, I mean, like, news kind of made a big deal of it. But not really. I mean, it was in a lot of, like, TV shows as, like, their plot lines, sort of X-Files situation. But yeah, I don't... I don't... Because it was, like, the people... The computer people, the peoples who are made of computers, were like, it's fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Woo! Free coal. It's free coal. How would I make torches without coal? Charcoal? <laughs> it's got coal right there in the name. I think people just like saying Y2K. 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 It was like the first meme. <laughs> the first hashtag. Everybody asks why 2K and not why me K. <laughs> Any planes for Halloween? Oh, there's plan. We do want to do a pumpkin carving stream again. In costume. That was probably the better joke, Mamatsky. Everybody asks why 2K, not how 2K. <laughs> that was that was along the lines of where I was going, but my brain couldn't put that puzzle together. That joke works in Irish. I was thinking Spanish isn't to you.
I will remind you I failed Spanish. <laughs> Yep, pumpkin carving with the girlfriend. Although I don't know what to carve. Zardoz was a choice. <laughs> I mean, that was, that's what happened that year when we did that carving. We did it, like, the first week of October, and then they were all a mushy, sad affair by the time Halloween actually came. Not that, like, anything Halloween-y happens around here. We don't get trick-or-treaters or anything. So yeah, that's on the docket. If you turned around, would the jitter decrease? No, I would decrease. We did, uh, there is a YouTube video, a couple of them actually, where we did some science at the border where the jitter doubles. Because it's not, it's not a gradual thing, it's a, it's a sudden thing. You, you pass a certain point and then it doubles and then you pass another point and then it doubles again so it only increases twofold every time because yeah right now it's like a quarter of a block or four texture pixels here it was two texture pixels and then it was one texture pixel before that and then in infinium, in infinity halves before that. And there goes my boat. <laughs> yeah, there was a line on the ground. We shot an arrow across to see what would happen. We placed blocks from one side to the other side. It's just based on perspective, or uh, perspective, your point of view, where the player is. There we go, that one. That's the previous floating point boundary to where we're currently at, but... All the way back in episode 471. So yeah, the next one will be half a block. And that'll actually be the last one. Because the full block is beyond the Far Lands. I mean, unless we continue walking into the Far Lands, but really... <laughs> because the next one after that would be 16 million. If the next one is at 8 million. And the Far Lands are at 12 million. Does the Far Lands have a roof to walk on? Kind of, but it's not solid. There is a way to fix the jitter as well. And keep the Far Lands. Which it's not... I don't think it's terrible right now. Some people do, but... The next one, it might become a bit unplayable, <laughs> so we might have to patch the game, much like Windows patched the blaster to get rid of the jitter if we want to continue with our eyeballs intact. It does give a character, that's why I'm keeping it. It, it is decidedly far lands or busts with the jitter and the beta terrain gen. Oh, boats, I have boats. Oop. Oh. 
Indeed. You know what else gives a character? Does far lands or busts? Duvet. <laughs> uh, why have I not been able to offer this in a store? Um, yeah, that's going to wrap up the far lands segment of the stream. Go to sleep and check on the world size. <laughs> And etc. Forty-four thousand three hundred eight. Small batch. You're both touched. Thank you for seventy-three months in the sub tub. Small batch, much appreciated. Sub tub. <laughs>